Greetings and welcome, dear viewer, to Channel 7 Horizon Online News, or Chisevenhun, as all the cool, partial word-speaking kids call it. It's Wednesday, September 30th, it's Western Wear Day, and I'm Edmund Griddles. The Senate Finance Committee shot down two amendments to add a public option government-run health insurance plan to the health care bill on Tuesday. The public option was a matter of great debate for Republicans and Democrats, as one amendment would have made the medical provider payments aligned with Medicare payments rates for two years, basically guaranteeing lower payment rates than the private industry. The other amendment, which wouldn't have tied payment rates to Medicare, was designed to have more bipartisan appeal but was rejected as well by Republicans and Democrats. Senator Max Baucus, who introduced the bill, which the amendments were attached to, voted against the additions, saying that, I see a lot to like in a public option, but my first job is to get this bill across the finish line. He also added that, it's also important to remind ourselves Rome wasn't built in a day. This reporter, suspicious of such definite claims, took it upon himself to check Mrs. Mr. Baucus' facts, excuse me, and it is with a 100% certainty that I can say that Mr. Baucus is indeed telling the truth. The construction of the ancient empire of Rome took the babies Romulus, Remus, and their mom at least four days to complete, as well as another two days to build the Colosseum, where Julius Caesar would later lead the New England Patriots to win the Super Bowl in 12 AD. Thanks, Wikipedia! Yesterday, automaker Toyota said that it will recall 3.8 million vehicles in the United States, its biggest U U.S. recall ever, thanks to a floor mat that could cause accelerators to become stuck, leading to excessive speeds, reduced travel time, an exhilarating driving experience, and possibly instant mangled fiery death. Which is an option that Toyota apparently doesn't want its customers to have. So, if you own a 2004 to present Toyota vehicle, be wary that Toyota is out to reduce your driving freedoms and replace your driver's side floor mat for free in an effort to keep you safe. You've been warned. And now, for your weather. -dum -bum 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 -bum, the weather. Hello, and welcome to The Weather. Today we'll be talking about you and your weather. There are several ways that you can affect your weather and the forecast. One being you could uh, recycle some pop bottles. Uh, another is recycling some pop cans. You could recycle the cardboard box that pop cans come in. You could recycle the little plastic thing that comes around pop bottles. Um, don't try recycling vending machines. People will be mad uh, and it won't affect the weather. So just don't do that. Um, yeah, so here's your weather. Back to you, man, the funny hat. And now, for a bit more loc- hold, hold on, hold on. I'm getting reports that we have some- SOME BREAKING NEWS! <laughs> Gunther Filtrum, Chisevenhun's own reporter, is on the scene. Gunther, we're told that something unbelievable is happening right now in- Yes, in the Bontrager Student Center. Can you describe to us what kind of unholy pandemonium is unfolding before your mortal eyes at this very moment? Well, uh, Edmund, it uh, seems to be some sort of touch, touch screen. Is there any possible way you can give our viewers an idea of the horrific extent of the loss of, of lives on the scene? Oh, um, uh, uh, loss of lives. Yes, of, yes, of course. What loss of life? Um. Uh, as we go to the class years, um, 1910, for example, um, it says it's unavailable, and that's probably because they have died since then. And that might be the loss of life you might be referring to. Truly heroic reporting in the face of hopelessness. Next, Chisevenhun is proud to have exclusive coverage of the Heston College Centennial Celebration. Of course, here at Chisevenhun, we believe in not only giving you the best in reporting excellence, but also the angle that no other shoddy college news program can deliver. Anyone can cover the Heston College Centennial Celebration. Only Chisevenhun can give you coverage of the Centennial. 100 years in the past. Reporting on the Heston College Pre-Centennial Centennial Celebration is Gunther Filtrum, live on the scene a century ago. 
Thank you, Edmund. It's September 30, 1909, and I'm here at the pre-centennial centennial celebration at Heston College. I've managed to get a word with Abraham Lincoln Hess, one of the college's founders. Mr. Hess, how would you say the festivities are going? He's gone. Is there anything else you can tell us about these festivities? Well, Edmund, it's pretty intense. Uh, I'm sure that dancing is going to break out in any moment. <laughs> I'm Gunther Filtrum for Channel 7 Horizon Online News. Thank you, Gunther. And now, for a bit more local news, campus worship is tonight in North Lawn 109 at 8 o'clock. Come out for worship, fellowship, and music. Katie Chaffinch will share about her ser service experience there. The Lark soccer teams face Garden City at home tomorrow night, so come out and cheer on the women at 5.30 and the men at 7.30. That is all. All students are invited to worship at Heston Mennonite Brethren Church this Sunday. Following worship, there will be a hamburger feed for HC students. Mmm, hamburger feed. <clears throat> For the record, I am not hungry for hamburgers. Today's birthdays are Toussaint, Kalambai, Kalala, and Emmanuel Regassa. And the rest of this week are Hyosun Choi, Megan Fudre, Hannah Hirschberger, Jonathan Heiberger. Wait, take those, switch them around. Yes. And Kaylin Shook. And that's all we have for Channel 7 Horizon Online News. Until next time, keep passing all your classes and stay away from ill-tempered animals.